So back in 2017, while I was living in Japan, I went to the Pokemon Center in Sapporo. I went to go buy some Pokemon cards. And while I was checking out, you know, paying for my Pokemon cards, the employee at the Pokemon Center, they gave me one of these. It's a Pokemon egg with a Pokemon card attached to the back. So, you know, when I got this, you know, I thought it was pretty cool and I thought it was pretty unique. You know, it's a Pokemon egg. And I was curious to see, you know, what's inside the pack, right? I mean, wouldn't anybody be curious? Now, originally when I was buying the Pokemon cards, those Pokemon cards were meant for my friends and family back home like I wasn't buying the Pokemon cards for myself and I decided in the end I'm just gonna hold on to this and give it as a souvenir to like you know to like a friend or a family member you know I mean yeah I was curious to open it but I decided to hold on to it and then years later you know I came back home I gave the souvenirs to my friends and my family and I completely forgot that I had this egg and you know after a while I got curious I'm like what's this egg about and what's the Pokemon card inside you know what's it all about so I did a little bit of research so back then back in the spring of 2017 17, Pokemon and the Pokemon centers in Japan decided to hold a little event. Now the event was called the Sparkling Spring Festival Campaign. So pretty much what the event consisted of was the Pokemon centers in Japan introducing new spring themed products to their stores. Big surprise right? So pretty much the event was just like hey we have a bunch of new products and they're related around springtime. The good fun springtime. Come check out our products. And you know the products you know they had like you know like new plushies, key chain stickers you know like that kind of stuff surrounded around spring you know like pikachu wearing like flowers around his head you know it was pretty cute but that's all it pretty much was about like just a uh, new spring products and also during that time if you were playing pokemon sun and moon they did give a free egg to pokemon sun and moon players and if you were playing pokemon sun and moon back then and you got the egg the egg would have contained either gumi mariani or Nguru, pasamian turtonator or drampa man those names are pretty hard to pronounce man <laughs> but yeah if you were playing Pokemon Sun and Moon, you would have received one of those eggs that would have contained one of those Pokemon. But what about this egg? So if you went to the Pokemon Center in Japan during their Sparkling Spring Festival campaign and you bought five Pokemon booster packs, they will give you a free egg with a free Pokemon promo card. So I mean, that's what that was about. You had to go during the campaign event, which was from around late March of 2017 to around early May, mid-May. So I mean, it was only like two months where you could go to the Pokemon Center buy some Pokemon cards and then get a free egg. So obviously when you went to the Pokemon Center during that time, they had a bunch of spring themed items, but they didn't really advertise the egg, like saying like, hey, buy some Pokemon cards and we'll give you an egg. So not that many people got these eggs, but the people that did, they opened them. And now as you can see, I never opened mine. So how much does this go for on eBay? Well, on eBay, if I wanted to sell this egg sealed, unopened, it goes for about $250 to like $300 around that price range, which I mean, it's not bad, but it's still pretty cool, right? Because I didn't even realize that until like just until like just recently. So anyway, what's inside the egg? Kiko, tell us what's inside the egg. So inside the egg, inside the card pack, there is one Pokemon card and it is one promo card. And there are four types that you can get. You know, you can try and collect all four, but there is only one inside of here. Now the four Pokemon that you can get inside the egg are either Pikachu, Mariani, Oranguru, and Turtonator. Now the only one that matters is the Pikachu card. Because if you get the other three promo cards, you know the Mariani, Oranguru, or Turtonator. If you get those three Pokemon, you'll see that the card is just a basic card it's not that special it doesn't look that cool the only cool thing about it is the stamp the pikachu easter stamp that is the only cool thing about those three cards but if you get the fourth card the pikachu card you'll see that this pikachu promo is very unique holographic as the pikachu easter stamp it is a special promo with unique art featuring pikachu with a bunch of eggs and a little cute flower crown around his head isn't that adorable so this pack right here, this egg, it contains four possibilities, but the only important one is the Pikachu one. That's the one you want. That's the expensive one. And that one is going for $100, $150 online right now if you want to eBay to go buy that Pikachu card. That's how much you can pay for it. The other cards are between, you know, like five and 10 bucks. They're not that much. Like nobody really wants those, but they want the Pikachu. And after I found that out, I was thinking like, should I open it? There's a 25% chance I'll get a Pikachu, right? But I don't know, man. I decided I'm not going to risk it. It's not worth the risk for me because if I open this, you know like the value like i said like this egg right here is like around 250 dollars plus and if i open it 
I could drop down a $250 value down to like $10 real quick if I don't get a Pikachu. So yeah, I decided I'm just gonna keep it sealed for now. But out of curiosity, I did pick up a Pikachu card and that's how that looks like. It's really cute in my opinion and I think it's like a nice little card to have in your collection. I'll put up some pictures so you guys could kind of see how it looks like like in a close-up version. But I mean, that's what that is. Pretty cool card, right? Let me know what you guys think of that. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, that's what this egg is. If you guys didn't know, it was released back in 2017 in the spring of 2017 in Japan at the Pokemon Centers during the Sparkling Spring Festival campaign. That was the only way you guys could get one of these eggs. I mean, you could also buy one online right now if you want to dish out some money. But yeah, I mean, that's what it's about. You know, what do you guys think of this egg? What do you think of this product? What do you think of the promo cards? What do you think of the Pikachu card? And at first glance, I want to know what are your opinions like when you first saw this? What did you guys think it was? Like, would you guys have ever guessed? Because I know like the whole time I've had this, I would have never guessed what it was or what type of promo card it is. Because the way you see it, it looks like it's something really unique and really special, right? But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you knew about this egg or if you even knew about that Pikachu promo card. Like, did you even know that this card was a thing? Let me know your thoughts. Drop a comment. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this where I talk about these unique events that people have probably never heard of, you know, drop a comment and let me know. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.